got a little video coming up now that's a new one to us i'll explain it in the video you might wonder why i put the video up because it's not gardening on a gardening channel but i will be using the the not the system the oh the technique i will be using the technique in our gardening at some stage uh, i do like the idea so um if you're wondering as i say why a woodwork video is up then that explains it the actual mirror that i'm doing is just for personal use it's for the house and i may sell it i don't know if anyone wants it but it can also go outside so it's a bit of a 50 50 really it still is gardening because i still might make some for someone in the garden who knows or something similar anyway on with the video thanks okay we're going to try something new today um it's not new as in it's never been done before plenty of people are doing it it's all over youtube we've never done it but i've been very interested in it it's called shushuki ban and um, plenty of it on the internet if you want to have a look but this isn't a how-to video because i've never done it before but i'm gonna have a go with these planks and i'm gonna end up making a mirror out of them this is just for private use so i've got a spare morning today and i'm just gonna do that because i've been meaning to do it for i don't know how long so i'll get on with that so we've got our gas torch our gas our wood and some water and a brush so the best thing about it is for my hobby is i like to reclaim stuff and this came from a job it was underneath some decking so instead of throwing it out or burning it i'm going to make something useful out of it and even the likes of these now these notches that's great because we can cut this down and use it as the just the short cross piece of the mirror anyway it'll all come apparent so i'll get on with that Okay, so I'll rub the brush on it and we'll get all this paint off it. The thing is with reclaim stuff as well is these nail holes in fact there's still some rusty nails in as well i've just banged them in flat and any little um holes like that well these indiscrepancies that's actually what makes the job look good and it will look good once it's all oiled and finished i mean for the first attempt that's not bad at all you can't half see the grain popping and that's what we wanted And I'll see the grain popping, and that's what we wanted. So I've just cut out some half lap, I think they're called half lap mitres, are they? Mitres, I can't even remember. Anyway, half of this and half of that. And they're odd, so this end is a bit distant than this end. See how thick. So I want it to look rustic. I didn't film that. But I'm sure you all know to use the chop saw. So, so we've brought the Shusugi Ban project into the workshop now. So what I'm going to do is we're going to route it out. Can we see that? About an inch to an inch and a half, all the way round, and we'll fit the mirror inside so it will be recessed. So that's what we're going to do now using the. Makita router and a half inch router bit so we're going to get on with that I mean it is as rough as I can get it because I want it to look like that it's burnt and these aren't straight when I say straight this is at a bit of an angle and it, this is obviously bigger than this one and it's what I wanted it's the look I'm going for so we'll get on with that
So, the shoe shoe band has worked a treat, no problem with that. What the problem is, is my measuring. I was going to do a frame around the mirror that I've already got, and the mirror has got holes which it's been pinned onto a wall or some sort of wall, presumably. Two inches in from the outside, the mirror measures 24 inches, and then I was going to come in two inches with the frame. I don't know what I've done wrong, or I know I've done it wrong. So this gap here is now only 14 inches, which I wanted that at uh, 18, 20 inches actually. Yeah, 20 inches in the middle. So the mirror would actually come to, there, there's 24. So it's actually a big mistake. So what I'm going to do is plant the mirror on the on the back here, and then just put a frame round. So this was redundant, but it doesn't matter. It's the actual shushugi ban that I'm doing, the burnt wood effect. These are all trials and tribulations. So I'm just going to do it. I'm going to enjoy doing it, and I'm going to learn by my mistakes. And I'm never one to be afraid to say I've made a mistake because I've made a few, and I'll probably make a few more. But there's one thing we do, and that's try our best, and that's all you can ask for. So I'll get on with putting the mirror on, and we'll take it from there. So, I honestly haven't measured this. I honestly, honestly haven't measured it. I've just seen it now. There's all sorts of little selections of mirrors and glass, glass tables that I'm, are all future projects. I love it, but I've just had no time. Every time I go to tip to take some household rubbish, I come back with something and I get shouted at. So it just gets stuck in the corner till I'm ready. But I've just this second now seen, you'll see it now, I'll point it out here. And it must have been there for months and months and months and months I've had it. Over a year, easy. And it looks, only by eye, it looks like it's going to be better to this than the mirror that I'm, I was going to use. Because it, it actually comes too far out here now. So if it fits... I'm going to need my socks. If it doesn't fit, it doesn't matter. Back to square one anyway. So I'm going to get it now. And just even looking, it looks like it's going to be better. So, as I say, there's, there's mirrors here. There's glass, glass tables. This one. There's a round one. There's all sorts. This one. Right. It's been here for God knows... In fact, that's not even loose. I can't even get that off. What I mean is... <laughs> anyway, look. That doesn't look... Oh, oh, oh. That's it. That is it. So, okay, I didn't use that mirror, but I'm still using one. That I was going to use, that's brilliant. It's got the backing on, so I'm going to take that off. So I'll take that off now. It just shows you, keep hold of stuff. Okay, so I'm very, very pleased with that. It's got me out of a pickle. It's still the same size mirror on either side, even if I stuck that one on. But it's utilising this and giving it more strength here because the other one came too far out. So it's back to the routing out and lowering this down. And that'll be... Great, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. So what I'll do is I'll mark around that now. Uh, have we got a felt tip? Just bear with me. Right, I'll just have to use a pencil. The reason why I don't know where anything is, this is my workshop, this is just at the back of the house, this is my hobby. I was going to take everything to my unit, uh, but there's no room really. So I put everything in boxes and it's all in little boxes and I don't know where everything is now. So I can't get to anything and it's certainly not tidy. So if we can route out. And I'm not going to bother measuring to see if it's all square because as long as it's squarish, it's going to be at the back of the mirror and as rustic as the mirror is as well, it doesn't have to be square. I'll eye it up to, to get it to look as square as possible. I'm certainly going to do no measuring. Um, I don't think it warrants it. So 
So yeah, I'll route that out. And from the other side, it, it doesn't matter if it's like that, you'll only see the square frame. So that's perfectly acceptable. I'll crack on with that. So I'll just square up these corners. Um, I've watched plenty of videos on woodwork on YouTube, and everyone seems to, all the decent guys seem to have sharp chisels. I mean, oh, it makes a difference. See, on, on the gardening videos I do, we're always on about sharpening your tools, and sharpening anything that needs sharpening is great. But for some reason, well, I don't do that much woodwork to be honest with you, but I would love to have sharpened chisel. But even that is an is issue in itself for today of sharpening and then you've got to have the right stones and the right papers and, and, and then they, they even sort of have a marble um, true flat stone to go on. And if you haven't got all that, it just, I find it just puts you off that bit. But I will have to sharpen the chisels. It is doing it. But when I see some some of the guys and the absolute sharp, diamond sharp. But we've got this. The one good thing about this is it's not carpentry. It's literally a bit of fun and a bit of enjoyment and it will look good. And I don't want to sound like I'm doing a bad job, but you can get away with murder with it because it actually looks good and it's rough. And it looks good rough. And it's like the gardening tools, I try to get as best I can, as, as uh, the, uh, you know, as expensive as I can afford. And the reason for that is I do believe you get good quality. And it's like garden, um, woodwork, my tools in the woodwork aren't that good, but my Keto uh, router is good. But the other things, like this saw, it's only a cheap saw. Um, that's cheap, all, all the stuff's relatively cheap, because I'm not a joiner, I'm not a carpenter. It is just a bit of fun, and if I start doing it a little bit more serious, then I will get better tools. Okay, I've got two choices, well, I've got quite a few choices. I can put little blocks to hold it on. Or I can put strips of wood which will, will neaten up this a little bit. Or I could put a plywood over the hollow. See I haven't got plywood and things like that. I like to use what I've got. So what I might do is just cut some of this wood down. Or even this soft wood just 2v1 battens. And just do some strips. Just to hold it on. Okay. Let me have a quick think until I decide. Decide what I'm doing. I've got some of this very thin uh, TNG. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make a full back of TNG for it. Well, not full. It's going to start about here, and it's going to be to wherever the pieces land. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll burn these as well. So it's going to look in keeping old. I'm going to be happy with it, yeah. So I'll use T and G. So, um, oh, get two pieces out of one. I've got well. Excuse me. 
got three pieces, so that's six pieces. So let's just see what they are. So they're well, they'll cover three and a half inches. Probably someone's worked that out already. So that's um, one, two, three, four, five pieces might do it. Yeah, and we've got six. I'll probably use six. So I'm just going to do this the old fashioned way. I'm just going to measure it and I'm going to cut it with a handsaw for the simple reason. I'm working on my table saw, so I can't use that. In fact, that would be too, I can't put the wood that way anyway, it's too wide. I've got a chop saw here. I can't get to it because everything's piled on it. As I say, this needs a proper sort out. So I'll just measure them and cut them by hand. To be perfectly honest, there's something a little bit more refreshing about cutting something by hand. These have been left in the workshop for so long as well, and believe it or not, there is actual there is an actual way to fit TNG together. Um, it's thicker on one side than on the other. The tongue isn't exactly in the middle, so if you look, see that's split, but I don't care because it's it's rustic. So this is the wider one. That's the narrower one. So I think that goes in. It's difficult because these are all warped. So I'm just going to put these bolts in, but they're a bit too new, a bit too shiny. So I'll put them in and then I'll just rub them with a file and it should make them rust a little bit. So what we'll do is make sure we get them at the right angle. We'll get the um, straight edge and we'll do a mark there. Mark across there, mark across there, mark across there. So I'll get going on that. I've already put that mark in. So I'm going to come in two and a half inches each one which isn't exactly right, but it doesn't matter because it'll give a a, 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 um, a similar appearance on all of them and the distance is sort of ish. I'm not going down to the last millimetre. So two and a half in from each corner, I'll get on with that. Okay, so it's all screwed, mirrors on, and we're just ready with this back in now. And again, I'm going to iron up, not, well, I, I'm not going to measure it. And I can't, but I don't think there's any need to. And also, I collect 
I've only just started doing it really, probably a few months back, six months back. Old screws, rusty screws, the bit, you know, straight slotted screws, all sorts of sizes. I mean, that's too big, but I'll have to go through these and we'll get a selection out that will do this. I don't even mind using odd ones because it's the whole point of making it look old and just distressed. So, I'll go through this now and get out a selection of screws. So I've just sorted a little pile out here and we'll use them. Okay, well I know why slotted screws went out of fashion and Phillips have come in. Because these nearly take your fingers off every time you do it. First of all, you've got to get it in the slot. I mean, this one's already in, so I've started it. And it slips off that many times. And then, obviously it doesn't matter on this project, but on decent furniture you'd have to use a screwdriver because these are just no good for slotted screws um, they just slip off and damage the wood um, so yeah I've just got a selection of screws and some are bigger than others some are brass some aren't you just really what I should do I've just drilled a pilot hole but I should have had a layer a little brad hole maybe just to make it a bit bigger so you can't even get that in As I say, they're all odd. I just think it adds to it. I'm just going to put them down aside now. And I'll do that. So that's all screwed up now. As I say, they are odd screws. Is that picking it up? Nope, not clear enough, is it? Why is that not clear? Ah. We've got different heads. It really doesn't matter, these will go back. So that's it, and it needs burning now. And I'll turn it over and we'll see what it looks like. Well, as you can see, it's done. I haven't oiled it yet, but I've got it at different sizes, different cross pieces, sections, lengths. Uh, I'm quite happy with it, but it won't go floor standing because I didn't realize, because I've done them different lengths, obviously it won't st stay. In line. So what I'm going to do is I've got some chain here from uh, past jobs where I took it off uh, a school climbing frame. So these big bolts can go in the top or any of these bolts and then some of the chain. So I'll have a look at that and see if we can get some chain on it. So I've brought the mirror back to the unit because all the tools are in the unit. I'm going to burn it now and then we're going to cut the chains and we're going to attach the chains. Okay, I have to be very careful as well not to keep the heat on it because the mirror is on the other side. But I think we've uh, got away with it. Well, <laughs> I haven't checked yet. I could turn it around and have all cracks in the mirror because I haven't checked. The mirror's fine, but what I've decided is you can see where the mirror you can see where it's not quite touching and you can see a gap. So what I'm gonna do is burn some strips. I'm gonna put the strips in it. Just gonna take a file to them, a round file, so that it fits in.
Okay, that's one drilled. What we'll do is epoxy resin it because it isn't quite um, tight enough. So I'll get drilling the second hole now. So I'll just put some boiled linseed oil on. I don't think, I don't know what I'm expecting actually. It doesn't do much. I don't know if I haven't burnt it enough or what, but like we said, this was just a trial. It's got to do something. So this is actually where it's going. Top, excuse me, top of the landing. That's the back of it, obviously. Well, you wouldn't be able to see anything, would you? So yeah, I haven't put it onto the wall yet. So I will just flick it round and try and show you what it looks like in situ, but I haven't actually put it up. I'll put a picture up on Instagram. So that's where it's going. And while I'm on the subject, this is just another one I did uh, last year. This again was using reclaimed wood from a job. So they've both been jo uh, wood used from our gardening. And that's why it's on this channel. That's why I've done it. So thanks for watching. I hope someone's found it interesting. Please subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you on the next video.